Hello, people of the internet. My name is Combat Wombat. We're talking about a topic today that I'm sure many of you are probably familiar with. It's not exactly brand new, straight out of the oven stuff. It's like that bread that you've neglected to consume and it's just starting to get moldy. It's about that old. But it's still relevant and a lot of people have been asking me to talk about it. And I can see why. It's quite the... <clears throat> thing. We're here to talk about a developer of an indie video game, and not just any indie video game, a weeb indie video game. Before we get into the issues with the developer himself, we should take a quick look at the actual game, which is called Yandere Simulator. This may surprise and even disappoint some of you, but I myself am not a weeb. The only anime I've ever seen is Cory in the House, and that was years ago. So, I have to look up what Yandere even means. So, uh, just wait one gosh darn second. Yandere is a Japanese term for a person who is initially very loving and gentle to someone, or at least innocent, before their devotion becomes destructive in nature, often through violence and or brutality. Okay, now that we are cultured, let's talk about the actual game. According to the website, the game is a stealth game about stalking a boy and secretly eliminating anyone who seems interested in him, while maintaining the image of an innocent schoolgirl. So, basically the same plot of most Ubisoft games, right? Apparently it's been in development since 2014, so six years. That's quite a long time, so uh, let's see what the gameplay is. We can see the game's development history on his YouTube channel, which really showcases just how long it's been in development. A lot of these videos show gameplay, so let's see what he has to show. In order to demonstrate what kind of work I'm doing at this stage of Osana's development, I'll walk you through the things I discovered while testing the first of Osana's expulsion schemes. On Monday, our objective is to steal Osana's phone use it to take panty shots, and then tell the guidance counselor that Osana has been taking lewd photographs of her classmates. Oh, it's one of these games. Oof. This is listed as a feature of the game, by the way. Panty shots. A certain character will perform favors for you if you send them photographs of girls' panties. Panty shots are a currency that can buy favors and give you various advantages. Throw an inside-out bowl of oatmeal at my face. Isn't this game set in a high school? Isn't this a little creepy? Or are all the girls in this game 18 plus? According to the game, they are, even if otherwise specified. <laughs> and also, are panty shots a real currency in Japan? Maybe I'm just an uncultured swine. The other gameplays on the channel are pretty interesting as well, so we should take a look at one of those real quick. Snap? 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 Jesus Christ, how horrifying. Blood for the blood god! <laughs> oh, yandere dev. You tease. <sighs> Cringe. Why do you have a weapon? What are you gonna do with that thing? Stay back! <gasps> no... Wait... Say what you will about this particular anime, the voice acting is on point. Leave me alone! Oh, okay. That's a thing. I think the developer himself would be the best person to explain what the hell we just watched. Let's talk about snap mode. If Senpai notices you while you are doing something incriminating or disreputable, you will get a heartbroken game over. Snap mode allows you to resume gameplay with new objectives. Find a knife, kill Senpai, and then kill yourself. Exquisite. 10 out of 10. I know I'm getting this game when it's finally done in 2045. Speaking of the game being done, many people have criticized this game and its developer for taking so long and seemingly having absolute cock and ball torture levels of atrocities to show for the six years of development. And I can't blame them. Everything he has shown so far looks like super early pre-alpha gameplay that he whipped together in Unity in a couple of months. In fact, you can play this unfinished mess right now. I am. It's in the background. I mostly just ran around having no idea what to do. Because there isn't anything. It's just a school. 
With AI walking around, a few basic features, and some failure conditions of being caught doing something bad. I didn't play much, but people have said it's littered with bugs, the frame rate is alligator porn levels of bad, and that nothing is finished. The frame rate was fine for me here, but I've seen videos of the bad FPS, and I can tell it's unfinished. Just look at it. But here's the main problem, and the main reason I'm making this video. Yandere Dev handles criticism about as well as Yandere Chan handles rejection. If I can't have you... No one can. Rest in peace, senpai. To demonstrate a small little sneak peek at how this unit of a man handles any jokes or criticism about his game or him in general, I'm going to do something quirky. I am about to try and get the world record in Yandere Dev Discord ban any percent glitchless. Now, this is no normal task. A actually, it is. A any Anybody with two testicles, a pulse, and a used vibrator can get banned from his Discord. It's really not that hard. Oh, hey, don't mind that, please. <laughs> yeah, I'm going for the consume the cum chalice strat. All right, all right, enough dicking around. Let's do this. <sighs> Come on, come on. Ban me. Ban me. Yes! <laughs> oh, I was a little bit late on stopping the timer. Oh, 10 seconds. Well, guys, I, I don't know if I'll get the world record, but at least I tried. I even threw a little bit of a flex in there by typing in an extra meme. As you just saw, even a little meme gets you banned from Yandere Dev's Discord. Instantly. Just Thanos snapped. There is actually a speedrunning category to get banned from his Discord. He is that strict on any jokes or criticism about his game, and especially his coding. Before I got quickscoped out of the server for sending a meme of him guzzling jizz, I did some good old detective work. As you can see, the list of rules reads like a fucking novel. Rule number 10 is a little sauce, not gonna lie. But on top of that, you can see that Yandere Dev here seems to have rules against being a troll and shit-talking. Hmm, what classifies as trolling? Well, let's see. These are just a few of the instances I managed to capture of Yandere Dev being a bit of a meanie bobini. Right here, this poor anime soul was just asking about allegations that the delinquents, which are a doo-doo faction in the game, have stolen hairstyles from various different animes. He's not accusing Yandere Dev of anything, he's just making an inquiry. So of course, Yandere Dev responds with class. If you're an edgy teenage kid whose favorite thing to do is talk shit and gossip about drama, you can describe it with a loaded word like stolen. If you're a reasonable, level-headed person with common sense who thinks things through rationally, then you wouldn't use a term that carries a negative connotation. Yikes. Here we have another innocent question, just asking for help with troubleshooting why he can't start the game. Which, seeing how absolutely cock ass this game is, it doesn't shock me that it just doesn't start sometimes. Yandere Dev responds, Almost 100% guaranteed to be a troll! Then when the person tries to defend themselves, he says, If you actually had a problem, you'd simply describe it, rather than trying to call attention to yourself. Yep. What? This guy is the most paranoid species of fun guy I've ever seen. He's constantly labeling everything as shit talk or trolling. Everything. His rules claim that criticism is perfectly okay, but if you ask a question about hair or want help with getting Yandere's liquid shit cake game working, you're a troll. Why aren't there any female delinquents anymore? Exclamation point WARN! Sorry, didn't want to come off as negative. You come off as someone who hates the game and came here to talk shit! I feel really sorry for anyone who is actually excited for Weeaboo Panty Picture Simulator and wants to actually be involved in the game's community and give feedback or ask questions in his Discord server. It's like a dictatorship. Also, I feel like I need to mention, on his YouTube channel he's made a few videos addressing the drama surrounding his game, and he portrayed his critics as inhuman, demon-like, unreasonable meanie heads. Nice. So I've shown you how he can't handle criticism, which is the main problem. But the other problem is that all of the criticism is 100% valid. Like I told you, this game has been in development for six years. Six. And that gameplay I showed you was recent. The gameplay you're seeing in the background is from July 2nd. P 
people are playing this pre 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 alpha that he's released on his website. The main issues all stem from the game's code being booty cheeks. This man can't code! This is why if you ask him how the coding is going, you get banned. It's also why he's so insecure about people saying the game's code is bad, that he feels the need to defend himself about it in his Discord server, and on his website. He has an entire section of his website dedicated to debunking several criticisms of himself and his game, including the bad code. But most of these are just completely ridiculous defenses and just making excuses. Like I said about the coding, Yandere Dev is a bad programmer. No, I'm not. He then goes on a long rant about how his code isn't radioactive dog shit. There are a ton of videos from game coders that explain in great detail why the game's code is such a mess. Most of it has to do with using way too many else if statements instead of switch statements, which cause the game to run way more processes than it needs to, and results in the terrible FPS drops and bugs the game has. So, with all of these if statements within a code, right, every single if statement in his line of code is checked by the computer. Henceforth, every if statement you see in a certain line of code, if that code is executed, that if statement will be checked and it will take processing time. And now, as you can imagine, this if statement, there's a lot of them in the code. Look into some of the videos on that if you want more information. Just look at how many criticisms he's had to debunk on this website. If your list of OOF moments is this long, at some point you have to just admit that you are not being a very epic gamer and just accept some of the criticism. Yandere Dev is rude to his fans and refuses to apologize. He says that he is civil 99.98% of the time. I was able to dig up a lot of very uncivil moments though, and examples of him being a complete douchewad to people asking basic questions. He then excuses it by saying he deals with a lot of trolls. Big shocker. Yandere Dev told someone to kill themselves live on stream. This did actually happen, but there is context you are probably unaware of. What? My guy, what context could possibly excuse doing that? It's extremely important to acknowledge that there is a massive difference between sincerely telling someone to commit suicide and simply saying a rude phrase in a brief moment of anger. Those two things are not even remotely comparable. Oh, so you didn't mean it. Y you were just angry. Okay. That's fair. Love how he just calls it a rude phrase to lessen the severity. He goes on to explain that he told what he thought was a troll, of course, to kill themselves during a stream, and that he was just angry because he's sick of dealing with trolls. But he later learned that the person he told to commit seppuku was a fan of Yandere Simulator, who was inadvertently being annoying and obnoxious. If I had to guess, they probably just asked when the game would be done or something, and of course, that's trolling. Then, get ready for this epic twist. Instead of taking responsibility, he makes the excuse that this incident never would have happened if he hadn't been harassed for over a year. My guy, you ban people for posting a gif of you drinking milk and calling it a cum chalice. You freak out at people for asking questions. You don't like it when people say your code is bad. I don't think Yandere Dev knows what harassment is because he's the type of person to call everything harassment. One last point I need to make is that Yandere Dev here takes donations on Patreon, yes, which he has been criticized for. People think he is taking his sweet, donkey-loving time with the game, just milking the donations and Patreon for all it's worth while not working very hard to get the game done. Which he debunked on his website. He claims that he doesn't plug his Patreon, so therefore he can't be just milking it. But he even says on his donation page that the Patreon has been a huge success. And taking a look, this man makes $1,600 a month here. I'd say that he's living just fine with this. So, he very well could be taking his time, not really caring about getting the game out. There's nothing wrong with having a Patreon. <clears throat> Wink. I love you all. But I would say it's very possible he is prolonging the development of the game, happy to just soak up donations. It's possible. He goes on to say that the game is only taking so long because it's so ambitious, and that he works 15 plus hour days, just grinding development on the game. Which, I, I don't see it. I'm sorry. 
It doesn't look like you've put six years of constant grinding into this game. And we can't forget, he's been being harassed for five years, so that's why the game is taking so long. Yeah... To wrap this video up, let me just say that I am not ragging on this guy's game as a concept, necessarily. I'm not really a huge anime person, but I could see a game where you run around in an anime-style high school, kind of like Bully, but the gameplay is like Hitman, where you have to take someone out and not get caught. That's a pretty neat concept. And obviously, it is hard as fossilized T-Rex titties to make a game. It takes a ton of time and work. But you can't hide behind that as an excuse for why your game looks like this after six years. And you can't say, it's made by one person, as an excuse. So was Stardew Valley, and that game is... Ugh, yeah, that's one good pizza. It made real progress over its long development. Basically, Yandere Dev needs to learn to accept criticism and get a sense of humor. Just because the criticism is a little rough and it's not exactly coddling him, doesn't mean that he can label it all as trolling. Criticism does make things improve, even if it's not sugar-coated. Your game's code is messy. Fix it. Stop making excuses. Your game has been in development for six years. You're taking $1,600 a month in donations. Get the game done. Stop drinking cum. Please. I hope the game does come out one day for his sake and for all of the people who are looking forward to it. But at this rate, uh... See you in 2050. A huge thank you to all of the dank memes supporting the channel as a Patreon sponsor or a channel member. You guys are the greatest of all time. Also, you should watch my other videos. Do it now, please.